So this is the beans for my begiri beans chill. So I've washed and peeled the the black eye beans, and then I will just let it cook for some minutes. So I've shown in my previous video how I peel my beans using my blender. So just to save time, I've actually peeled this. There's no point showing you that again. But if you really want to know how that is done, you can check my video. I put the link in the description or section. So this is the beans. I'm going to turn on the eats now. I will let it cook and we come back later. All right. So our beans has been cooking for about 30, 40, I guess about 30, 40 minutes. So looking so much already. Yeah, very soft now. This is what we want, this is the texture that we want. So I will let it cool down a bit. Then I will now, I will blend. It's very soft, any of times, I just want everything to have a very fine, fine texture. So I'm going to blend it in my blender. Then we can now make our bakery, our beans, our beans stew, our beans stew. Okay, so we have our cooked beans in the blender already. So we just want to have a cooked blend. And then I'm going to add, instead of doing this separately, I prefer to add it to my, to my beans and blend together. So I have four, four habanero here. I think I'm going to be having three with you. So let's blend it. Okay, so that's it. We'll show you the, the outcome later. So this is what we get. I'm going to open now. So I use my vitamins. I use the, the soap. Yeah. I use this button, the soap one, and this make it look so, so beautiful. As you can see. It's looking very, very, very smooth, very, very smooth, very nice consistency. We have, you can see how smooth, how smooth and good looking this is. So all you need to have now, because we have, uh, we have a, a banero in our beans already. So I'm going to add um, two tablespoons of uh, crayfish. And, and some palm oil. We're going to have some palm oil. This is uh, just just a little depends on, on the way you want it. But we are having it's about on drain ml. One, 
muggy crayfish and, and some salts. That's it. Then you carry on mixing together. If you don't mix it together, it's gonna get lumpy. Just mix everything together. Your beans is cooked already. So all you need is just to let the, the seasoning get into the beans. If you want to, if it's too thick, you can you can always add you can add water, you can add your stock. So, I'm gonna have some stock. Um, yeah, just a little bit of stock. I have some new stock, I'm gonna add a little bit. how to make bengiri the best chill or best soup so I'm going to let it stay on for two four minutes will be ready yeah so to do it it's a very healthy and very nutritious food so we're going to enjoy this delicious soup with uh, our rice our rice fufu this is so nice this is nice I think if it's a try you will love it very very nice you can use it it's good with samala too it's good with samala we're going to do rice today, rice for food instead of amala. I'm going to do rice for food. And that's it. This is some bagiri. This is our bagiri. This is our bagiri. Very smooth. The lumps every smooth without any lumps all right that's all we have for you today let me make the the fufu and i'll see you later so this is our rice for two more rice today i'm going to be using this nigeria local rice or father rice I've soaked for about yeah, I've soaked for I've soaked about eight hours. I soak it very early in the morning. And this is about five. Okay, I've soaked this. If you don't want to soak this, you can you can cook it directly. 
and once it's very soft like I made the beans then you can now you know just mix it like you make our amala or our you know, the Nigerian fufu but um, I want to blend this with my blender so I've picked it I've taken it with the stone and I've washed it thoroughly so this is this is what I have so I'm gonna add it to my blender now then I will now I will now cook it as a towo rice or towo shake cafe yeah So, I have my Ofada rice, our local rice in the blender. So, I'm going to I'm going to add some water, just a little bit, to be able to grind it. Just a little bit of water for blending. So, I will blend. I will let you see there. So, this one. have with our fighter mix blender so I'm gonna keep mixing I will on that low heat I will let it cook on that low heat and just mix like any other African staple it's too thick to add more water And I'm mixing it so get what you want. So you carry it on turning, mixing together. So at this junction, you need to add water for the rice to cook very well. So you to have some hot water. Over. Depends on how soft you want it. Add the water also get the texture that you want. So. This is just for it to cook first. So I'm going to cover and let it cook for about five minutes. see the pots showing you this kind of color you can know that uh, it's cooked or it's cooked already so you can smell it you can smell it already but it's, it's mainly cooked already so without even tasting mm -hmm. so if you want this fine very very fine then you can blend to that so uh, texture what i don't want is that fine fine this is the texture that i want and i i actually got what i want so 
the rice fufu or further or further rice fufu or further tuvo so coffee is ready so we're going to dish now we have already grilled our mackerel it's a good with our we've grilled our mackerel already now we go with it so you can see it's not that difficult you can make it you can do it yourself really easy so i'm going to serve myself now thank you so much for staying with me to this point you are amazing please don't forget to share this with your loved one it is an healthy recipe a new recipe that everyone should try share with your loved ones and don't forget to give this recipe the thumbs up and share and comments thank you see you in my next video bye love you